the, there was a, a, a mini summit that was here which had taken specific decisions, which was a follow-up to a meeting between the Great Lakes region and, and SADC. And one of the critical things uh, after the M23 uh, had come to a particular point was the disarming of the negative forces. So the, the, the summit here was discussing progress, how far uh, this process has gone. Uh, there was a report uh, which emerged from uh, the meeting of the uh, defense ministers uh, who discussed the same issue. There was also a, a report by President Kabila to the meeting, which was then discussed. Uh, and of course, uh, the meeting has concluded and I'm sure the communique will indicate that uh, this issue of the disarming of uh, uh, the negative forces, particularly the FDLR, is a concern, uh, particularly because the process has not moved as swiftly as, as, as it was thought and there are some developments. And, and of course, uh, given both regions, uh, the meeting here felt that uh, there must be some deadlines uh, that we stick to that had been discussed previously, that therefore, uh, from now on towards the end of the year, we expect that the disarming will, will certainly take place, that if uh, there are difficulties, um, certainly after six months period, then <clears throat> perhaps force will have to be used so that we, 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 we make sure that this task is undertaken. But also the meeting here felt the, the, the summit, the joint summit between the two regions, the Great Lakes and, and, and Sadak, should take place to, re, to, to, to evaluate and review where we are at that kind of broader and bigger level. I think that, in a sense, the meeting would say has helped to clarify where we are and also to say which direction we take, uh, what speed that we are putting in uh, <clears throat> moving forward. Certainly, uh, as you know, Rwanda is very concerned about the matter, did express that uh, that whatever happens, these issues really should be concluded. And it is, it is really a wish of all of us that uh, these issues should be concluded as quickly as possible. What troubles Africa, whatever corner, will impact to, 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 to everyone? Uh, as you know, we have our foreign policy, which is very clear, uh, and, and it, its emphasis on Africa. Africa, we believe, need uh, stability, needs to be secured uh, and therefore <clears throat> all of us, those who can, must play a role to ensure that that stability comes. Because if in Great Lakes, if we talk about Great Lakes, we are talking about a very large uh, kind of uh, region which has been problematic for a long time. Now there is no part of Africa that can develop and leave the other one behind. Anything that happens anywhere, it will, it will impact. Uh, on others. So we are saying as AU members, <clears throat> we are one, we deal with Africa, we want a peaceful Africa, we want a developed Africa, we want Africa that is able to do business in, within itself. Now you cannot therefore say, uh, because I'm in the southern tip of Africa, Great Lakes, uh, they must solve their own problems. Also it goes with the kind of capacity and capacity, uh, I'm not just referring to perhaps military capacity only, capacity in many ways, economically, uh, as well as capacity uh, to deal with issues and solve issues and create the environment where people could have agreements uh, that there is peace and stability.